that's in that on that album. On that album. But before then, Scope Bubble like um, this is my man Ti. Right, what that that name? It's like my homeboy Joe John. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it don't ring a, yeah. So I look around. I like, yeah, what's up? Tip standing there. You got the hat. You know, he, he definitely <laughs> a motherfucking. I can't lie. The bravado was hell. I promise. I still look at that. It still sent. It, it made me put my back up straight. Yeah, like that ass yeah, serious. Yeah. This nigga, and I ain't saying this and trying to talk in hindsight to try to make it fit it. But I still didn't think he was no rapper because he was too light skinned for me. <laughs> You feel me? I'm 22 and I'm betting the game. Say I'm a super cool, still a threat at the s. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. How did you link yeah. up with Tip? I gotta ask you that. I do when that. I first moved to Atlanta, back yeah, like 0102. Y'all, y'all linked up. and it, But it wasn't about, it was just a, the family hustle. You was on a lot of different stuff. Right? Yeah, but this before then. Well, but you, how did you meet? Um, in the Magic City in the strip club. Oh, okay. oh that's how okay. I Skull Bubba. Rest in peace, Skull Bubba. Skull Bubba walked this by like, it was probably in 2001. This is before uh, trap music and all that. I'm actually in that album, Trap right. Music. Yeah. My name is etched in that album. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Comedian K Dub and Rolling Powell, Lil Duval, Nard hosting Rest in Peace, and wow. Shouty Shouty with my name. Shouty is. Shouty. Them four comedians that's in that, on that album. On that album. But before then, Skull Bubba was like, um, this is my man, T.I. Right, what that, that name, it's like my homeboy Joe John. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it don't ring a, yeah. so I look around, I'm like, yeah, what's up? Tip standing there, you got the hat. You know, he, he definitely <laughs> a motherfucking, I can't lie, the bravado was hell. I promise, I still look at that, it still, sent, it, it made me put my back up straight, yeah, like that ass yeah, serious. Yeah. This nigga, and I ain't saying this and trying to talk in hindsight to try to make it fit it. But I still didn't think he was no rapper because he was too light skinned for me. <laughs> you feel me? So yeah. you didn't have light skinned rappers back then? It didn't matter. It ain't like, I, res- it ain't like I respected him. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't ain't like I gave only light skinned rappers. Was rapper now. No, he, he wasn't there yet. Out. He wasn't only there light skinned rappers I kind of like was goddamn Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone Them little boys. Thugs. Them up there what moving else? around, even though they had some darker ones up in there. But no, no, no. Damn. We got to think about it. Let's not. Even, I didn't listen to New York music like that. Period. <laughs> See, I never oh, heard man, of New York he, music he, he until I moved to yeah. Atlanta. No mute New York music I never heard of till I moved to Atlanta. Why? Cause I just didn't hear of it. It didn't get a play. Get, get, get he play. watched Boss Talk too. <laughs> this is this is my guy right here. He telling the no, truth. No, I ain't saying it cause of that. No, I'm telling I'm you. Tell you in my mind. I you came up way. in Mississippi, Memphis, <laughs> and Milwaukee, south. up down through there. I didn't hear none Midwest. of that. Midwest, yeah. I didn't hear none of that. I ain't hear. I didn't. I I, I remember Hard Knock Life cause my cousin, one of my friends, played it, and. I didn't know who sang. I didn't know which one of the New York niggas was rapping. I didn't know. I didn't really care. It didn't. It didn't. It wasn't my thing. Mm-hmm. I was liking Scarface. I was liking Three Six Mafia. Play a fly. I was rocking with Bone. I liked Tupac, of course. I didn't care where he was from. Uh, I like you know. I just liked anything that was coming. A Ball and MJG. Yeah, yeah. So it was, I had, I had enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pimp C. Oh, yeah, you GK first. Yeah, yeah, and he devil. light skin too. Yeah, yeah but the oh, thing he is, go. he didn't talk like a light skin. <laughs> <laughs> and I really never <laughs> saw him until no, later. No, it was the new GK albums. I didn't see them. Right. I knew. I didn't know who they was. Man, selling dope in eighty nine. Hey. I didn't know who they were. Yeah, yeah. I just like that voice and that little tone. Yeah, if you were saying, yo, put your picture, put your on the boy, sha, sha, that was New York to me. Yeah. It was all about that time, time. It was all about that A ball and MJD. That Scarface, Mafia, man. Scarface. That Scarface was stupid. That's the first, <laughs> Scarface is the first rap I ever learned the lyrics to. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was stupid with first it. First time I ever learned lyrics. But, but I think I might have got a hold of New York. I moved to Atlanta in July of 01. And those they had they had took over Atlanta, so when when Jay Z beef with Nas, that was my first introduction to it for real. Who won that? Who won that battle? Well, you know Nas won. That's what I said. <laughs> Nas is one of my top five favorite rappers. I, it ain't that I don't like when I say real. I don't listen. I never did listen. But as I got older and ventured into it, I know what's what now. You can't a New York person couldn't call me a dummy on the top on the topic. Cause I picked it up in the last twenty. Wow, you know that's what I mean? hard, man. Like I, back to like so when you and you and Tip met, how do y'all mm. how do y'all maintain this relationship all these years? 
I th- it, it. Okay, let's go back to that. I met him. I looked at him. Scope Bubba said it's Ti. Shook his hand. He was a guy. He was a gentleman. I'm talking about. You can't say nothing bad about him to me. Yeah. Like you really can't. It's nothing you could say about him. I say stuff about him all the time. <laughs> I talk shit, <laughs> but nobody got nothing to say about him. The nigga was a gentleman then, a gentleman now, same type of person. And I look behind him and see the damn girl from Escape. That's what made me be like, oh, shit, this nigga must be gotten something going on. Mm-hmm. Something. He got to have something going on. Because, you know, that was, that was my favorite. That was my little favorite little person from the group. You know what I mean? I was like, you know. But, man, the man was so... Like uh, uh, what they call him trying to find a word. He was more into it than I was in dealing. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to act like yo. I, I honestly, he know me now. I honestly didn't didn't give much of a fuck like that. Now when we did get back together, I did look him in the eyes and was like, yo, we got to work. Yeah, this yeah. was 2013, 14 after the jail a couple of times because yeah. in between dealing him from with 01 to about 03, once he dropped Rubber Band, man, Tip kind of like got out of. It. He, he kind of got out of there. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He kind of went on a whirlwind. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I see him every now and then, catch up with him. He was still that same gentleman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of there. Mount up. Gone. Yeah. Then in between, between 03, 07, I might have seen Tip twice. <laughs> 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 and then he got locked up. And then he got out, and I might have seen him two times between 07 and 09. He did. You know, he went to jail two, three he times. He got out, and he and got went back, back Went right back. Yeah, he did two, three different things that I know of in Atlanta that I know of, two, three different bids. And that last time he got out, I didn't see him no more, and I went out to Charlotte to do a comedy show. Okay. I was a semifinalist. And while I was in a hotel trying to get a form, you know, you get them free form, hotels, you got to... Fax the form and mm-hmm. fill it out and take it to the front. I look out the one that saw a security guard running by. It was 2013. I ran out there, left the form, and he was trying to find a park on the streets for the trucks. Yeah. Man, I was like, where y'all going? I got that number because I ain't been knowing him for years outside of tip. Got the number, met up with him at the strip club, got the number, and we're like, man, we got to work. It was 2013. I said, we got to wow. work, man. I said, I know you've been having your blah, blah, blah. But we got to work. Yeah. And it started in here, man. So everything that's going on now is not no fluke at all. Not no fluke. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.